In the last couple of lectures, we learned few things about how to configure our TypeScript compiler by adding some options in the tsconfig.json file. Now let's go to tsconfig.json file. And in this tsconfig.json file, you will see that we have this property called compiler options. So TypeScript compiler options allows us to control how our TypeScript code is compiled. So not only which files, but also how the files which are getting compiled should be treated by the TypeScript compiler. So here you can see we have a bunch of options and most of them are commented. And if you want, you can scroll a bit right and you can also see. So basically from here, you can read what that option is used for. So here we have a brief description about each option for this compiler options properties. And to be honest, most of these options which you see here, it may not matter in most of the projects. So you will not set all of these options. Only some of the options which might be useful for you in your project that only you're going to uncomment here and set a value for it. And we will have a look at some of the most commonly used options in this compiler options object. And we will learn about them one by one. In this lecture, I want to talk about this target option. So this target option tells TypeScript compiler for which target JavaScript version do we want to compile the code? Because TypeScript compiler does not just compile the new features of TypeScript into JavaScript. It also compiles the TypeScript code to a targeted version of JavaScript. Here you can see the target version we have set to ES2016. So when the TypeScript code will be compiled to JavaScript code, it will be compiled to JavaScript version ES2016. Okay, so if I go to app.ts and there, let me create a variable. And let's call this variable maybe test. You can name this variable anything. This test is going to be of type string. And to this, let me assign hello world. Okay, let me also create a constant. Let's call it maybe pi and let's set to 3.14. Let's save the changes and let me go to terminal here. So you see here it says config file called auth file called. Now in the app.ts we are not logging anything so you won't see any message here. But let me also go ahead and let me log a message and let's simply say value of pi is and then Let's use this pi variable here. Okay, let's save the changes again. So again, this app.ts file and other ts files will be compiled. And you can see this message value of pi is 3.14. Now let me go to app.js file, which has been generated. And there you will notice that the variables are created using let and const keyword. So let and const is supported in ES 2016 version of JavaScript. Now let me change this to ES5. Let's save the changes. Again, the files will be compiled. And now if I go to app.js, there you will see that both constant variable and the normal variable which we created using let keyword, they are being created using var keyword. Here, we don't see any let or const keyword. Here, we see var keyword because let and const, it was introduced in the ES6 version of JavaScript. But currently, we have set the target to ES5. So now, whatever JavaScript code will be generated from the given TypeScript code, it will be generated in the ES5 version of JavaScript, not the ES6 or letter version. And in ES5, we use var keyword to create the variable. So that's why you will see here. If I change it to ES6, in that case, in ES6, let and const keywords were introduced. So if I save the changes here, now you will notice that in the generated JavaScript code, the variables are created using let and const and not using var. So always remember that when we set a target in this tsconfig.json file, we are basically telling the TypeScript compiler to generate a JavaScript code in a specific version of JavaScript. 
Now, why do we need to set this target? We need to set this target because let's say you are creating an application which should be supported by older browsers as well. Now, if you set the target as ES6 or ES2015 or something like that, then older browsers does not understand that version of JavaScript. Older browsers only understand older version of JavaScript like ES3, ES5, etc. They don't understand the latest versions of JavaScript. They are not capable of understanding the latest features which we have in the latest versions of JavaScript. Right. So the features like destructuring the object or array, spread operator, these features are the new features. And older browsers do not understand these features. So if we are creating an application which should be supported by older browsers, then we need to specify the older version of JavaScript here so that the TypeScript code will be compiled in the older version of JavaScript, which can be understand by older browsers. But if we are targeting only the modern browsers, then we can use latest versions of JavaScript here. For example, earlier it was 2015 or 2016. So we can target ES 2016. So that means this application, it will be only supported by the modern browsers. It will not be understandable to older browsers. And that's why we need to specify what browsers do we want to target for our TypeScript application. So I hope with these examples, now you understand the use of this target option. In the next lecture, let's talk about other important options from this compiler options object. This is all from this lecture. Thank you for listening and have a great day.